how important that is um, to our country and our, um, and I feel like our rights aren't necessarily respected. Um, I think everyone understands that this isn't the end, that we're, this is an opportunity to um, regroup, reassess, and branch out in many more ways than we might have imagined a couple months ago. So what's next? Um, everyone has different ideas. I have ideas about like how I'm going to kind of harness the energy and um, that's been generated here and use it in ways that I think are important, but everyone here has many different ideas. We'll all be pursuing those, um, some together as a collective group and some in the um, I personally care a lot about just creating community space. Um, through this process, one of the things that I've noticed is that it's hard, if you want to collect a group of people, it's hard to find a space that isn't owned by someone where you don't have to pay a lot of money. Like, communities should be able to collect and work together and organize. And so for me, that's a priority among many other things, um, organizing and getting ready for different things coming up. So, um, I mean, we've had many actions, and I think uh, making people generally feel empowered and like they have a choice in what goes on in their life and in their country. Um, because for me, that's one of the problems with, um, you know, red versus blue electoral politics, that although you might have a vote, you might have a voice, like, not everyone feels engaged and, like, their voice is really counted and, and it's important. So I think, for me, Occupy is the number one priority for me has been just to create a platform for people to do whatever it is they feel they need to do to address the issues that are important. What's the response from the reporter who came here on six different nights and found virtually no one was going Um, I mean, from my perspective, it seems like he was coming at a very strategic time when, because if you go on our website or our Facebook, you know where we are. So, say, um, on a Wednesday evening, you, if you're paying attention to us, like, you would know that we're at a GA. So, if you want to make a story, if you already have in your mind, what you want your story to say, you wanted to say that no one's here, you're going to come here when everyone's at the VA. He came at different times. Yes, every time in the evening when people were generally here downtown for different Occupy events. At one time we were uh, watching a documentary right down the street at the GLCC. Like, so whether or not it was intentional, um, from my perspective, it seemed like he already had in his mind the type of story that he wanted. He wasn't interested in really showing the reality. He Woo! clearly had an agenda. How many also people came in the middle of the night? Um, I wasn't aware of that. I don't know how exactly. I mean, in the middle of the night, some people are asleep, some people are at work. People have